to wear a ring leg. In any, everything that you learn about, if ever you want to learn about the car, you want to find the car manual inside the car. If ever you want to learn about um, a particular module in university, you're gonna get you're gonna get understanding of that particular module right inside the book. So now that we're talking about Christ and God, first of all, let us first establish the God. Okay, thank you, Lord. First of all, let us first establish the God how God was, because for many years our people, the so-called Bantu. The, the, the colors are part of the Bantu people. As the blacks are part of the Bantu people, for so long we have been lost because we don't know who we are. That's why you find our colors as well as blacks in different religious groups. In, that's why you find the, the Chinese religion. You want to find a black person here. Um, the Muslim, you want to find a black person here. Why is that? It's because we don't know who we are going to the Bible. So today, we first want to show our people who they are. So people don't want to listen to us. So now that we are here, we want to show you who we and you are going to the Bible. Who we are. Because in the Bible, there's nowhere you're going to find a color. There's nowhere. So, who did God call us before the white man called me a color? Who did God call me before... Um, uh, the white man called me a cousin. Who was that? You see, they called you Bootsmans. There are no Bootsmans here in the Bible. There are no Bootsmans. As again, you find like in most of the communities where um, the colors and the blacks live, the condition there are not, are not the condition that a person was surviving or a person must live in. I think they say in the literature that God loves everyone. So if ever God loves us all, why did he let us, me and you, the so-called black and the color, to live in, in, the, in the township where there's, uh, there's no water, there's always road shedding, all this kind of situation. Why us? But they say God loves us all. If ever God loves us all, if ever you have, you have children over, right? You have children. So the love you have for your first child, that is the very same love you have for the second child. Because you are what you are fair as a parent. You are fair as a parent. So you love your children how equally. So if ever you buy this one shoes, you wanna do what? You wanna buy another one shoes. As well as that one, and as well as that one. So if God loves us all over, why can he leave us, me and you, the so-called blacks? In the, in the township, and why did God? Listen, Omar, there is a there is a big museum in 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 Johannesburg called Apartheid Museum. I was there yesterday. I was there. There were two days reaching um um black only. Uh, no, no, um, white only and the blacks. You see that there, there was always a division back then. There was always a division. And again, and again, if ever God loves us all, why did God only let us, the so-called blacks, and you the color, to go over a party? Why? Why is that? But they think that they do claim that God loves us all. But if ever he loved us all, why did he, why did he let some of the people experience whatever they experience? Because if ever we are his children, he's supposed to treat us different, not different, like all the same, equal. You see that? So there must be a problem. There is a problem, Omar. So Omar, like the question that I've asked you, I'm gonna show you one thing, that me and you, who we are, I'm going to the Bible. I'm gonna show you what does God call me and you? Who are we? Because the white man, um, during the, during the, 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 the oppression of the child Atlantic slave trade, they took my identity as well as your identity. You see that uh, the God named us this way, but for them, they said no. God gave them that, um, that name, so this is what I'm going to do. First of all, give me some H in Psalm um, 83 and verse, um, and verse 3. Start at verse 2, actually. Start at verse 2. So let me read this scripture, and I'm going to explain, and we're going to change it over. Right? All right. Read it. The book of Psalm, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, 
Thine enemy make a tumor. So if ever you didn't know Omar, God has enemies. God has enemies. But that we we don't and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So the enemies of God, Omar, the Bible says the enemies of God took crafty counsel. Took crafty counsel to what? Against thy people. Against God's people. God's people, who are God's people? Israelites. That's so right. today, who are those Israelites? You don't know, right? But you're going to find out in the Bible. You That's know? right. And consented against the hidden one. Wait. They have said. They have what? They have said. They say, Come. enemies of God set the free. Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from being a nation. How many tribes do we have in the country, nation? Lots of tribes. Listen to these people. Verse three, they have, verse four, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So this is the way it's said by who? By God. By the enemies of God. You see that? These are the, 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 the way said by the enemies of God. Those who took crafty cancer at they took crafty cancer against God's people. So they said that they, they, they all came together and said, come. Let us what? Let us cut them off from being a nation. So let us cut off the, the, the people of God from being one from being one nation. That's why in black communities you find that we have more than five tribes. We have the Zulus, we have the Sutus, we have the Tosas, we have the, let me see, we have uh, the Penis, then the Bellas, the Bendas. But if ever you look at us, our speaker is saying that um, our, 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 our language grew in Chalim. But why are we not one people? They developed us from being, what, from being one nation. They developed us according to, what, to the places we live in. Inside the, tell me something, the wife, the wives are one. You will never hear, hear in South Africa that, um, what about wife, what about wife. It's only us in the black community. You're going to hear what, okay, this was at the Zulus, those ones are the Trotters, those ones are the Sutus. You see that? So our nation, our, our nation, our nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So our nation was cut off from being one nation. Our nation, the Bantu nation. The Bantu nation is a, it's an umbrella of many nations, including the Congolese. People from Zimbabwe, the Shona, the Zulus, the Kosa, those people fall under the Bantu umbrella. So they did what? They divided those people and said, okay, for the near that you're from, um, you're from, you're from Zimbabwe, I'm going to call you a Shona. You're from a near that you're from what? You're from South Africa. South Africa, which flag? I'm going to call you a Sotu because you're from Lesotho. From the near that you're from Kapstad, from Cape Town, I'm going to call you a Kalat. You see that those are the nation inside the what the Bantu, the Bantu, um, the, the Bantu umbrella. They divided us from being one from being one nation. You see that? Read on. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, what? that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So yeah, David is talking about what? talking about the enemies of God that divided the nation of Israel from being one nation. So I'm going to read some few scriptures, and I want you to tell me if whatever that I'm reading, it does it um, match uh, correlate to the conditions that the colors are living in and how the blacks are living in. Right? Are you ready? All right. So, Auntie, I'm going to start with what? I'm going to start in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Because I said to you that in the Bible, you will never find where it's written a color. I'm never going to find where it's written um, um, a suit. I'm never going to find where it's written a zulu. But inside the Bible, me and you, Auntie, we are from the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, according to the Bible, thus says the Lord. That's right! says the Lord. Um, before, before that, get me, um, all right, get me James chapter one and verse one. Sorry. 
Jenny James chapter 1 and verse 1. So, and you please tell me, is there any country here in the, upon the face of the earth where you go to and you will never find um, a black person? Is there a country here in the world where, 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 where you go there, you will never find a black person? Every country has a black person. Right? Britain. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. So, are you talking about what? Can you talking about what? The twelve tribes of Israel. So this is the only, this, this nation is one, two, three, four, up until twelve. These are the only, this is the only nation, the nation of God, the nation of God. These are only God's people. The so-called us, the Bantus, the Karats and the Sutus, the Zulus, all those who fall under the, the Bantu umbrella, fall under these nations. That's why God's enemy did what? That um, um, made us to, to discontinue from what? From our, from our true origin. Back then, we call ourselves Karat, you need to call yourself about what? Your tribal name. If ever you're a Judah, you're going to call yourself, um, what's your name, Omar? You want to call yourself medium what? Medium Judah. Because we are from where? From the house of Judah. That's right. But now, you want to call yourself Fun Faith. Fun what what? Fun what what? Where does Fun what what come in the Bible? There's no way in the Bible you're going to find that. So that's why we have been cut off from being one nation. So that you do not know who are you according to this Bible. So this is the truth. That is being hidden here upon the face of the earth. That is being hidden from us, the so-called Bantus. The 12 tribes of Israel is talking about us, the Bantu people. We are the children. We are the people of the group. This is us. This is us. So that's why the prophets were going from um, place to place, trying to do what to teach people. Teach people, the officer over here, the officer is from, is from America, came here to teach you people. He's doing the work of the, the, the very same work that the prophets were doing, going different places, teaching people. The very same script, the same, the very same scripture says, read that in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. The book, the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God. So James was the servant of God. James was the servant, of, the servant of God. He did what? He went to different locations to do what? To teach God's people. That's what James did. We don't. And of the Lord Jesus Christ, Greek. to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greek. So James, the servant of God, is what is um, sending people to the what? To the twelve tribes. Not everyone. To the twelve tribes. These people. He's killing these people. Because of what those four tribes, that's why I even have to. But if there is a country here in the world where you will never find a black person, he said no. Every country has a black person. It's because of what? We were scattered. We were scattered as a nation of people. We were scattered as yeah, for me. We were scattered as a nation of people. There's a reason behind them. You see that.